All right, guys, I'm Phil, and you're watching the Minuteman Moment. So while the House Judiciary Committee was debating how to destroy the Second Amendment, something a lot more dangerous was actually taking place off camera. Senators like Lindsey Graham were putting finishing touches on a bipartisan gun control framework for the tied Senate. That's 50-50. According to a source from NBC News, Senate negotiators have a framework for gun legislation. The Senate framework likely includes the demands Joe Biden made during his gun control speech. That's red flag gun confiscation laws, expanded background registration checks, and raising the purchase age for commonly owned firearms to 21 years old. And while Pelosi's House majority is gonna pass gun control with some pretty bad provisions, like a ban on any firearm which holds more than 10 rounds, or five rounds if you're under 21, a ban on reassembling firearms at home, whatever that means, a ban on any enhancements, which increases the rate of fire, and a gun confiscation for any firearm which isn't stored by a standard yet to be created by the gun-grabbing Attorney General Merrick Garland. The Senate is our only chance at stopping this terrible assault on the Second Amendment. And unfortunately, the Senate is packed with a lot of untrustworthy senators like Lindsey Graham, Susan Collins, old Mitt Romney, and they all love stabbing gun owners in the back. That's why GOA needs your urgent help to bombard this 50-50 Senate with letters and calls, urging them to vote no on any gun control proceeding from this framework in the Senate. So do me a favor and please add your name to our pre-written letters found in the link in the description to tell your two senators to vote no on this developing gun control framework in the Senate and to alert your representatives in Congress to vote no on red flag gun confiscation laws and the gun control bill deceptively named Protecting Our Kids Act. And once you're done with that, call the number below. That's gonna direct you to your senator's offices. Make sure to call both of your senators and give them that simple one minute message telling them why they should oppose this gun control law. If they're not hearing from you, they're hearing from somebody else. Is that what you want? But this isn't the first time the Senate has introduced bipartisan proposals for gun control. But thanks to our grassroots supporters, like you, who took action, GOA actually shredded those gun control proposals to pieces in the past. And even the Washington Post acknowledged the power that GOA's grassroots has. The Post quoted a GOA alert that generated phone calls and emails to a senator's office when he was trying to hammer out a gun control compromise with Democrats last year. The Post even admitted that GOA's efforts torpedoed the gun control talks, saying, thus died the last significant bipartisan gun talks in the Senate. Little did they know, we're having more bipartisan talks right now. And that's why you've got to get involved. But I'm afraid this time, it's a bit different. The emotional warfare being waged by the anti-gun lobby is like nothing we've seen in a long, long time. Senators who campaigned on protecting gun rights are now hiding in fear. Already, they're waving the white flag to surrender, and that's where you come in. That's why we need to fight fire with fire. Every senator needs to understand that while a vote for gun control may win them three seconds of praise from the anti-gunners, who hate their guts anyway, it's gonna cost them thousands and thousands of votes from their actual gun-owning constituents this November. But we'll need you to help make that message crystal clear. So hit the link in the description, call your senator, and tell both of them to vote no on red flag gun confiscation laws, universal background checks, or any other gun control law. And share this video with anyone who cares about gun rights. All right, that's it for this week. I'm Phil with the Minuteman Moment, and we'll see you soon.